Okay, in this tutorial video, we are going to create the path outline for our Three Little Pigs tour. What is a path outline? Well, first of all, it's the path. It's the route with the significant stops along the way. And uh, most importantly, it's also a one sentence summary of what you're gonna be talking about at each stop, as well as each leg between the stops, which is often where the uh, listener is going to be spending the majority of their time. Um, I can't overstate the importance of creating these summaries um, because a lot of times you overlook it and you end up not figuring out exactly what your narrative is going to be. In traditional writing, maybe that's okay. Maybe you do it later in the process, but because you're designing your entire path around it, um, it ends up being very time consuming uh, if you end up needing to change your narrative or figuring it out on the fly after you've already written your script. Um, so highly recommend creating these, uh, creating these one sentence summaries. This is the moment where you figure out the narrative structure of your walk. All right, so I've already gone around the bl surrounding blocks and I've uh, researched the area, scouted locations, found some interesting things, and these are the main spots that I wanna focus on on this walk. Um, you have the main points of the story, uh, Mama Pig's house where the three pigs grew up, uh, the house of straw, the house of wood, the house of brick. And then I also found a couple of what we call wow moments, really like special secrets or visually immersive magical moments that um, are part of what make detours special for people. And I actually want to try to make sure that I take people to those places and find a way to write them into the story. Um, <clears throat> and this is the time to do that, to figure out how I can make it make sense. Um, so there's this nice, like, hidden garden patio where I can walk people through, take, uh, through going through an alley. And then there's this balcony on the Civic Center with, uh, or, I'm sorry, on the Symphony Center with a nice view of City Hall and the Civic Center. Um, so those are my main, I guess, one, two, three, four, five, six stops. And once I have those, I want to figure out a route that's going to take me to all of them. And there's a lot of different ways that someone could choose to tackle that. And a lot of it has to do on who's your with who's your narrator, what's the um, what kind of narrative do you want to do you want to create, and also just the constraints that geography puts on you. Because say you want to tell a traditional linear narrative, you can't always do that if things aren't laid out in exactly the way you want them. Um, in this case, I think I can tell a traditional linear narrative. We'll keep it simple here, starting at Mama Pig's house, going to the House of Straw, then the House of Wood, um, and then the House of Brick. Um, in terms of fitting these things in, I think what I'll do is start here, uh, walk over here, then go back through this alley, through the garden patio, back over to the House of Wood, come up along here, go to the House of Brick, and then walk over, ending the tour at this nice view of the Civic Center. Um, so just to show you what that looks like, here's my stops and how they go. Um, so now that I have that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and create this path in Descript. Uh, so let's go into Descript, create a new document. I'll just make this nice and big. And the first thing I'm gonna do is open my map view and type in the Mama Pig address, which I happen to know is 385 Grove Street in San Francisco. And it'll kind of get me to the general area and then I can zoom in and um, start drawing my path. Uh, now, if I the, the way that path drawing works is it'll always draw a path, right, uh, a um, pin right there at the beginning, and then I'm dropping waypoints, which are just uh, aesthetic markers to control the direction of the path. Um, well, I'll start over here. That, that's not actually what I want to do. I'll show you how I can actually, as I'm drawing my path, create the stops. Um, so again, going into the map view, you can also, in this case, uh, I can just zoom to fit and it'll zoom in on my current location. And if I hold down the option key, it will actually create what's called a stop pin. And stop pins are pins where you're going to tell the user to stop when they get there. Um, so that's my first stop. 
and I'm going to cross the street here and go down here and go over to the House of Wood, which is right about there. Then I'm going to come back over here and go down through this alley. This is the secret garden patio and come over here to my next stop, which is the House of Wood. And then I'm going to head over here and up to just from across the street, look at the House of Brick. And then we're going to finish up by going over here to the Symphony Center. Uh, none of those things are exact, but, in, but uh, we can fix that later. This is just creating the general structure. And you can see as I drew this path, it's actually creating the structure in my script view over here. Um, and it's guessing, it's just putting down addresses, um, but we'll actually go in and correct those now with something that's more useful. So mama house. Okay, um, and let's just give this scene a name. Okay, so now I have the first part of my path outline, which is the actual route with the significant stops along the way. And the next part is to create the one sentence summary. So I'm just going to pause the screencast for a minute to create those one sentence videos or summaries where I, uh, where I figure out the actual narrative structure of my tour, and then we'll continue. Okay, we're back. I've created my one sentence summaries of each leg of the walk, and uh, this is available in the assets. You can download it and check it out if you're curious what I actually did. Um, uh, one thing to keep in mind as you're creating these is these numbers in what we call the gutter timeline for your tour represent how much uh, the, the bold number is always how much it's going to take to get through the content that you've written so far. So in the case of the, these summaries, that's not that important. But what is interesting is this number down here that appears in these green walking segments. Um, and, uh, and this number represents the total amount of time that it's going to take the average user to walk that path. So this is going to come in handy later on when you're writing your script so that you can pace things out and make sure that you're not adding too much or too little content in these walking segments. Um, but it's also handy even in this path outline stage to give you an idea of how much you're going to need to cover, right? So I'm going to need to spend two minutes here talking about the giving background on the wolf. Um, and here, I again, I have about two minutes. Here I have about three minutes as I'm walking uh, this segment right here. And then only about a minute as I'm walking over here to the symphony center. Um, also a good rule of thumb is you should never be keeping people standing still for more than about two minutes. Um, so in this case, about half of the tour is going to be walking and about half of the tour is going to be standing. Okay, so that's the path outline. I'll see you in the next video where we're going to create the script skeleton.